I'm going to show you how to create this simple mask zoom through transition effect. So I'm going to begin with this clip of the washing machine. This is a simple circular mask shape that will work well for this type of thing. So whether it's a sunglass circle or something like this, you get an idea for an example. Now on this layer, I want to create a new mask and I can just go to the effect controls panel under the opacity section. And there's this create ellipse mask, which is like this circle mask. Now I'm, I'm actually going to hit inverted on the mask. So we're cutting out this hole and this is a pretty simple circular shape. I can just pull the edges so that they cover the washing machine area. And if you want, you can add a little bit of feather. You can move it around a little bit. Whenever you want to edit the mask, you can just highlight the mask and make sure you're in the program window, not the reference window. So once I have my mask in shape, one thing about this clip is that it isn't completely steady. So although in this case it doesn't move that much, if you do have a little bit of movement on your mask and you want to track it, this is similar to a tutorial I made on simple mask tracking, but you'll simply start at the first frame and press this play button and it'll create keyframes tracking your mask. On the slight 2D motion that happens, it's not going to work for complex type of motion, but in a simple clip where there's a little bit of camera shake or camera movement, and it's a simple geometric object, this should be a pretty good way to track the mask. So it sticks to your target. So once it finishes, you'll see it's created all of these individual keyframes, and it's just tried to track your mask a little bit along. The movement of the video. If you do need to do some minor adjustment, you can adjust the mask expansion and the mask feathering so that you have your cutout. So now when we have this cutout, if I move this to video track 2 or 3, anything that I place underneath, like another clip, will kind of show through that cutout window. Now in this case, it's not in the center of the clip, and this clip, the action is kind of out of frame. So I'm going to take this bottom clip, and in the effect controls panel, I can move the motion. The position under the motion tab, and the scale. And I can make it more in focus to our mask. So one idea is we can simply have this video playing within this frame. We don't even have to do a transition or anything about it. If I did want to kind of transition into this. Another thing I can do is throw the original clip back on on top or you can even like just duplicate it. I'm just holding option and click dragging up. So we have the clip on top of itself. This is the laundry mat clip and I can just delete the mask. So we have the original clip here and we know that there's no edits on it because if you ever look at this effects batch, it's gray. Whereas the ones that do have some adjustments are yellow or purple if they have effects on them. So I have the original clip and then the masked out clip and I can just do something simple like drag the end down, right click and apply a default transition so that it'll cross dissolve from the non-masked clip into the masked clip. And if I wanted to somehow zoom through this clip to the original one, there's a few ways I could do it. But one simple one would be to just grab my masked clip and add some keyframes under the scale and position. So first we're starting at their default amounts, which is this. And then maybe a couple frames over, I want to just zoom in through that hole. So I'm just increasing the scale and maybe moving the position so that I'm zooming in straight through that hole and ultimately everything is out of frame. So if I play that back, we see we just kind of zoom through that hole. If I want to make it faster, I can pull these two closer together or further apart. Now we have run into the problem since we did choose to scale down our bottom clip that we have some of this black area. So I can also add keyframes to scale this clip as well, while the other one is. So if I click on the laundromat clip, you can use these arrow keys in the effect and control panel to go to the keyframes so I can go to and from keyframes so I can put my playhead right on when I started to do the zoom animation for this and I can create a scale and position keyframe for my bottom clip as well and I can just move over a couple frames and as soon as I start to see the black edges appear I can make sure I increase the scale back up to 100 and ultimately if I just keep going I want to just reset if I just click this reset parameter I want to just reset both of the parameters back to 100 and back to its default position. So if I play this through, it doesn't happen fast enough. So I might just want to squeeze these in so that they finish a little bit before our zoom through the laundry mat clip finishes. And I might really just have to, to squeeze them in even further so that this really finishes first. Something like right about there is perfect. 
its finishes zooming in, and you never see any black bars. So if I press play on this in its entirety, we have our clip playing through the mask, which is cool. The mask is being tracked, and then if I want to zoom through into the next clip, it zooms in like that. And at this point you can just kind of trim the end of that clip since it's no longer visible, and continue carrying forward with your edit. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this. Some glasses, circle, windows, doors, laundromats, the same thing will work for a rectangular shape or even like a custom triangular shape or some other sort of shape. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.